This first video focuses on the properties of exponentials with some examples that go along with those properties. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is just what does an exponential look like? An exponential is made up of a power and a base. So this number is, or variable, or whatever term it is, is your base. And then this thing up here is your power, or your exponent. All right, so here are our properties on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side are our examples. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a line here so you can tell the difference between the two. All right. So our first property is a power, or a base, raised to a power, times another same base raised to a power. What happens is we're going to add those exponents together, only if they have the same base. So an example over here is 3 squared times 3 to the 4th. We add the 2 and the 4 together, which gives us 6. And then 3 to the 6th power, you can use your calculator if you want to. All right. The next property is a base raised to a power, same base, raised to a power. What you can do is you can reduce those down by subtracting their powers, their exponents. So an example on the right, if I have x raised to the 7, divided by x raised to the fourth, one thing is you can just reduce those both by a power of four, or you can subtract them. <clears throat> so seven minus four is three. What I was saying before is if you have x to the seventh over x to the fourth, um, you have been taught that you could reduce them by a power of four. So this would now become a three, and this would become a zero, or not there at all, which becomes then a one. So you'd have x cubed. All right, property three is when you have a negative power. The proper thing to do is to never leave an answer with a negative power. So what we do is we call and say when you have a negative power, you want to flip it. So it's going to now be 1 over a to the n, or you can write it like this, 1 over a and then all to the n. So here's an example. You have y raised to the negative fourth power. You want to flip it, so it's going to bring it down to the denominator. 1 over y to the 4th. If you wanted to write like this, you're welcome to do so too. More students tend to write it like the, the first way here. All right, moving on to example 4, property 4. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So here's an example. You have x squared plus 1 raised to the 0 power. That whole thing will become a 1. Property 5. This is what I call my power to a power, or this was, that's the next one. Um, think of this as more like your distributive property. When you have uh, multiple things within a parenthesis, you can distribute in. So you have the base of A raised to the M and the base B also raised to the M. So an example would be like 5x cubed. You can distribute that 3 into both pieces, so it's 5 cubed and x cubed. And then simplify. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, and then x cubed. All right, the next one is what we call the power to a power. So you have a power raised to another power. The rule is you're going to multiply those powers together. So here is an example. You have y to the third raised to the negative fourth. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and multiply those numbers together. So you're going to get negative 12. Now, they, in this example, they add one more thing to it, into this property example, is now if you remember this negative power from back on this slide, example three set, is you have to flip that. So we don't want to leave that answer as a negative, so it's going to flip it down. So now our final answer would be one over y to the 12. All right, our last property is very similar to property six, I think of this as my distributive property. When you have um, a fraction, you can go ahead and distribute that power to both pieces. So now you have a to the m over b to the m. So an example, 2x raised to the third, you would distribute here and there. So it would be 2 cubed over x cubed, which equals 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 over x cubed. So those are the
quick introduction to the seven properties. We will be doing more examples. 